Hi there, this is Tim Wong with NVIDIA's automotive team. I'm here at GTC Europe showing off uh, one of our new demos. And what we're showing here is DriveWorks in action. That we're running on a PX2, and what it is running is in the top screen, you see the DriveWorks debug screen, where I'm showing three cameras, two corner-facing cameras on the right and left, one center camera, and in the camera, I'm detecting on, on I have neural networks running, that are detecting the vehicles, the signs. You'll see uh, little numbers above uh, each vehicle that is a unique ID for tracking. Um, in addition, I, and you're also seeing lanes that are colored, uh, different colors, so I distinguish between the different lanes. Um, this all feeds into uh, what's called a occupancy grid. An occupancy grid you can think of as a 3D model, kind of a top-down view of everything around the car. Um, and so what you're seeing here on the bottom is a rendering of uh, the occupancy grid. So when I'm driving, um, and let me just switch back to different modes, um, when I'm driving normally, I can see my gauges. This would be you know, essentially your new dashboard display. And if I'm gonna, uh, to help the driver, if I'm gonna turn right, I can actually give a right view uh, of the occupancy grid. So you can, essentially you don't need mirrors um, because I can see it and it doesn't matter whether I turn left or right. If I turn left, it's the same thing. But more importantly, it, you know, we provide feedback to the driver to create trust that the car really does know everything around it. Um, next, when I want to go into autonomous driving mode, um, say for highway driving, I want to change the UI so it's clear that as the gauges fall away that I'm actually in autonomous driving mode so the driver doesn't mix up which mode they're in. It's very clear from the look of the instrumentation. The other thing that's nice is we can see what PilotNet is thinking and seeing, that when we go into this mode, the sparkles you see are the, the, basically the neurons that are firing within PilotNet. It's what PilotNet, um, as the driving AI, thinks is important. And not surprisingly, it spends a lot of time looking at the lane markings, because again, it's trying to keep us centered in the lane, but it also sees the edges of the cars next to it. Um, and that's basically, again, because it's mimicking human driving behavior, that is what it thinks is important for the driver. So this is essentially the DriveWorks uh, running on a PX2 uh, that we showed uh, here at GTC Europe. Thank you.